everyone, welcome to another episode with Vogue a la mode. another episode today what we're going to be doing is reviewing this bag right here yes another bag review and if you cannot wait stay tuned hey guys i'm super duper excited that you guys came on back and i do have another another like one more um first review for you guys today and i'm super excited for it because this is like the star studded of the star studded bags like this is the queen of the star studded bags right so i'm super excited to bring this to you and you're probably in the market for another crossbody coach bag or maybe just want to see what coach has to offer and if you guys did not check out my first review on this bag right here the aldo galinda satchel please make sure to check that out i'll link that down below and if you also did not get to check out my second purse review on the coach parker right here in chalk please check that out as well and i'll link those down below so make sure you guys look at those videos before you come in to roll and look at this third one because this third one save the best for last okay so here is the bag right here this is called as the title says the coach dinky okay so this bag is a classic coach bag it's a part of the 1941 collection so what that means is coach was implemented and started in 1941 when coach first came out they made all leather genuine 100% leather products as they still do on this day but of course it was not handbags at first so they kind of got their idea from a um, designer um, and she kind of got the idea to make handbags from the mitt like the glove mitt you know like what the baseball players wear so she was really enthused with the stitching that went into that so she she was like yeah like i love the stitching i love the detail i love how the leather is you know cross-grained into each other and everything like that and that can be great for a handbag so boom now we got the coach dinky the dinky i'm not sure actually what year the dinky was implemented i'll make sure i put that down below um but this is a part of the original coach collection and um it's a part of the 1941 collection so how you would know that is by the hang tag here you guys can see this is the hang tag so it has the horse and carriage classic coach classic coach emblem right and um, on any hang tag that has a horse horse and carriage that means that it's a part of the 1941 collection also you'll see around like on the hardware and stuff like that I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys can't see that small detail but it does say coach 1941 on the bottom so um, all of the dinkies that you find at coach are 1941 collections unfortunately the parker is not and um it's a lot of like a lot of bags are a part of the 1941 collection honestly so what you need to do is go to your nearest coach store a retail location or an outlet location and you will definitely find some product that's a part of the 1941 collection i tend to kind of like the product that's a part of the 1941 collection because it does ring classic not only is it classic you know of course but they've made it um Stuart Beavers is the new creative director of Coach. Um, he's been there for a minute now, but he's kind of implemented some new designs that really catches the classic yet edgy style. So he brings like a classic um, bag like the Dinky and he'll put some edginess to it. So that's kind of where I was drawn to this bag because I'm like, of course it looks so classic and so like beautifully crafted and made and things like that. But like the edginess to it with the pleated leather and the rivets and the brass hardware on this black um, leather just makes it look amazing. So yeah so just a little bit of history before we kind of get into the make of this bag i did also get this bag on the hang tag i did get it monogrammed and just so you know monogramming at coach once you buy a product it is 
free of charge and it has to it has to be a product that has a hang tag on it of course though so i did get um this one and i did have a balm on my parker up there but um this one i decided to get nyc and it's a little story behind that i'll be very very brief because i know you're like honey i don't care i want to see what's inside the bag okay i want to see how this bag is made so a little story really quick um a lot of people don't know this about me just yet but i am moving to new york city soon and um new york city is somewhere that i just received a lot of good positive energy from every time i go and visit i just always want to stay not only do i have my own fashion business but i also go to grad school online right now but it's based in new york city so um i just have a lot of connection and a lot of love for new york city like most people do of course but i just feel like god has something to offer me in new york and i have to go figure out what that is so with that being said i did kind of get this monograms on my back as a reminder of like new york city is waiting for you honey like go see what your dreams are there and show up for yourself so i'm definitely gonna go show up for myself okay i'm getting my master's degree in fashion marketing i kind of explained that in one of my other videos but i'm getting my master's degree right now online um from lim college and that's based in new york city like i said and um yeah so i'm i'm just pretty excited about that i'll be graduating in may and i'm just i'm just super excited for all the um experience that i'm gonna learn and just all the things that i'm gonna get from that degree and from that from that um environment being in new york city so yes if you guys want to know more about my story and my college experience and you know as far as like being online versus you know in class or whatever going to school in new york versus going to school at home in my home state you know um i've actually went to another school that was out of state and if you guys want a video on that um i can be sure to <laughs> share my college story with you guys i did undergrad at howard university yes hu you know and i'm doing my master's right now at lim college so yeah just a little bit of backstory on why I got this NYC because it's a little cliche because you know coach is like the New York company of course like it was founded and everything like that the first store was on Fifth Avenue like it's a New York affordable luxury company right but um it's a lot to that so I had to get NYC as a reminder of like girl go get it okay go get your money go get your dreams go make it happen so that's kind of my reminder so every time I wear this bag I'm like honey go get your money <laughs> so anyway let's get into the bag i'm sure you guys are like okay all right stop all the talking so like i said this is the coach dinky okay this one is the smaller dinky there's a dinky 24 i believe which is a little bit larger than this one right here but this is a smaller one um i personally like this style for like i <sighs> me like i like to dress up so i can wear this like as an everyday bag i don't, really don't mind it um but a lot of people just see these dinkies as a dress bag so if you're gonna go out go somewhere fancy something like that then you guys can definitely wear this as that going out bag especially with this design with the pleated leather and with the um rivets on it and stuff like that you can probably see this as a going out bag but me i see it as like I can pair it with this, I can pair it with this, I can pair it with this, I can pair it with jeans, with a white shirt, you know, so this will serve as the accent piece for me. All right, so we're gonna talk about the make of the bag. So this is classic calf skin leather, okay? Calf skin leather, and on the front it is pleated, so if you guys can hear this. Yeah, that's that good pleated leather. So it has rivets all over, brass hardware with the brass rivets, and it has the classic Coach C turn lock closure on the front. Um, on the side, it kind of has like an accordion side, but not really. Um, I don't really know how to explain this, but you guys can see that's how it's on the side. It does have like the flap and everything. This is the front pocket right here, and then this is like the main compartment that you'll see on the inside. On the back, it does have a super large functional pocket. So you can kind of see there. It is a very, very nice pocket, but of course, 
I won't be putting much in this back pocket unless it's flat and small and not flat like an iPhone like no that that bubbles a little that that's gonna bevel the leather so if it's like a card or something like that um, I will tend to put it in here but I really haven't used this back pocket because I just don't want to ruin that leather because that's some good leather okay and it's very thick too the craftsmanship the edge staining and the um, stitching everything is just done really 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 exceptionally um, on this bag and I just appreciate that so much um, and then on the other side of course you have the hang tag with all the hardware that says you know it's embroidered with coach and everything like that you have that hang tag there and on the opposite side it is in the oxblood color so the bag is black of course but um, on the interior you'll see that oxblood color and on the hang tag it, it does have that kind of dual coloring of the oxblood and of the black hardware of course and of course with the monogram you can choose what color that you would like for your words or your symbols or your letters to be and I kind of chose gold because it's just it just is aesthetically pleasing like I mean, you could choose like pink if you want but I'm just a person who likes like classic simplicity and I also like things to be like really like um, I, I just like things to go together and I think that that was the perfect color of choice <laughs> for me to go with so yeah so we're gonna get into the bag oh the bottom of the bag I'm sorry it does not have the feet on the bottom but it does have a really nice um, calfskin leather um, does have a really nice bottom to it so um, and it does keep its shape if you were to sit it on a table or anything like that okay so now we're just gonna turn the turn lock there and um, it just simply opens like this now on the inside of the bag is where you will find that beautiful 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 ox blood it's kind of like a burgundy color I don't know if you guys can see in the camera how beautiful it is but honestly it's really gorgeous um, and a lot of coach bags do come with that ox blood coloring so that is an option I'm not sure about the dinky if it does have ox blood I, I haven't seen that but comment below if you have and comment a picture too so I can see um, but also yeah so this is the ox blood interior and um, it's just really well made it's just simple you know what I mean so on the inside of the bag you can see that I do I don't want to bend it you know <laughs> but you can see that I do have some stuffing in there from when I got the bag because I just like to keep the shape of the bag so I'll just take that out um, <clears throat> and then also on the inside of the bag I keep the strap which I'll talk about briefly sit the bag down really quick so about this strap right here this is a really really refined nice quality leather interwoven into a brass chain coach um strap that came with the bag of course so if you can kind of see the detail it has some weight to it now it's not um it's not a it's not a heavy 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 strap because of course the heavier the strap is the heavier the bag is but this is not like super duper heavy but it has some weight to it where you wouldn't be like mm, what you know what, 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 what's going on like no you wouldn't be like that you would be like wow okay like this is made with some quality um, material so definitely a lot of um, the bags 1941 a lot of the bags come with the leather strap interwoven into it and then some don't so you kind of have to look inside the bag and look at um, the um, the strap to make sure that you know it comes with this unfortunately they do not sell this type of strap they do have the ones that are just the leather and then just the chain and um, I think the leather one is like around $50 USD and I think the chain is around 32 maybe dollars USD um, and this one particularly someone one of the sales representatives told me that um, just by having this type of chain with the interwoven leather it does add a hundred dollars to the bag so I was just like maybe the retail value of this is a hundred dollars I'm not really sure but you know so yeah so this is this is the really quality chain that it comes with um, but before I hook it onto the bag I'm just gonna continue to show you the inside of the bag so 
this one does come with some really nice features on the inside i don't know if you guys can see now all 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 of the 1941 collection bags do come with the kiss lock in it which was kind of an original feature that coach had implemented as well when they implemented the handbags so the kiss lock is on the inside of the bag right here if you guys can see i'm doing a terrible job of showing you guys but the inside of the bag right here is the kiss lock so the kiss lock is small enough for coins and what else did I put in here? Like cards, you know, things like that. Small enough for that. Um, and I do have the care card and the tag so I can show you guys the retail value of this bag. But before I do that, I just want to show you the interior of the Kiss Lock. So um, it's a nice fabric lining, um, but it does not have very much space. So I'm putting my whole hand in there right now and it's going around to my knuckle. So it does have like this much space. Um, and of course it does not bevel. So if you guys think that you can put like lipstick in there or something like that, don't think that you can put a lot of it because it will not close. You know, it would be like not closing. So anyway, so that's a really nice classic feature. And of course it does have the um, hardware on here that does say coach and it clicks like that. It clicks in place. So it's really nice. Also with the ox blood interior on the other side, I definitely don't think you guys can see this, but on the other side, it does have your story patch and it does say that this, um, is a dinky bag coach. And, um, it does have the style number and everything like that. So this is the full inside of the bag. It's really not that deep of a bag. So honestly, if you're looking for a bigger bag, I would kind of go with some other options and not the dinky, but the dinky, like, just like the name sounds like the name sounds like it's like small and like, you know, frail. That's what the bag is. It's not frail, but it is small. So, but you can fit some good stuff in there. I fit my phone, my keys. I have a thinner wallet, like a mini wallet. So I fit that in there as well, really nicely. And that's about it. My earphones and yeah. So on the sides of the bag right here is where you would place the strap. Now, um, these can also retract inwards. So if you do not want to carry it as a crossbody and you kind of just want to carry it as a clutch, you can do that where you won't see those handles right there. So you won't, you know, it won't look out of place. It will look good. You know, you can just carry it as a clutch instead of carrying it as a crossbody. And we'll insert pictures of kind of both styles so you guys can see that. So this is the front pocket of the bag. Now this one is kind of what I would consider accordion style on the front pocket of the bag because you can you can fit some stuff in there. But the only thing is don't make it too, too wide because the front flap won't be able to um, conjoin with the turn lock and be able to actually lock like it's supposed to. So just make sure like when you're carrying this bag, you're not carrying a lot. And I try to like downsize on what I carry in my bags because you don't need a lot of stuff. And if you do need a lot of things, then um, you can carry another bag. But you can always have this bag inside with you, like in another purse or in another suitcase or something like that. But just make sure that you do have this as an option because like when you go out at night and things like that, sometimes you don't want to carry like your big tote. You know what I'm saying? Like your market tote from Coach or like you don't want to carry like a, a bigger bag. You know, you do want to carry like a smaller bag. Um, that will be handy and be portable and things like that not draw too much attention um, but not ruin your outfit as well because like the big I'll insert a picture of the market tote the bigger totes like that where you can find from a lot of companies a lot of luxury and uh, fast fashion retail just retail companies period handbag companies if they have like the bigger bags you know a lot of those do have a lot of space for storage so those kind of bags are good for if you're traveling if you go to school you know things like that but like when you go out like if that's your bag i'm sorry honey that just ruins your whole fit even if it goes together because you kind of want people to focus on your fit rather than your bag and if you do want people to focus on your bag as well get something like the dinky from coach because now i'm not saying just any dinky i'm saying this one specifically because it has that kind of going out flair to it but it's also minimalistic as well so it does have the pleated leather with the rivets and things like that that would be good for a standout piece but like with something like i'm wearing today just the off the shoulder type of um short sleeve thin shirt you know something like this on a nice breezy summer evening 
I would wear something like this with this with this bag because not only is it drawing attention to my shoulders here and kind of like that blank canvas look it also does draw attention to the bag as well but it's more of a simplistic approach it's not so like in your face like a red bag would be I love red bags by the way oh my gosh red bags red bags um <laughs> but you know how they like kind of have more of a um more of a like attention grabbing type of feel something like this and because of the color and because of the style it does ring elegant classy but minimalistic in a way as well so yeah so anyways so the inside is kind of straight to the point that's just kind of what it is on the right side of the bag on the inside I'm going to show you guys this little thing right here I don't know if you guys like you honestly will not be able to see this but it is inside of the bag so if you guys know kind of like the louis vuitton bags has the inside where you can put like a keychain or you can put your keys on it um they kind of have that attachment or they have that little hook where you can just sit your keys in it this bag does have that as well so it's on the right side of the bag on the bottom like down here i'm really not sure if you guys can see that but it's right here this is the hook I kind of opened it up so you guys can see that's where the hook is it's very 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 minute but it is there so if you're looking for you know something somewhere to put your keys and you don't necessarily want to lose them in this bag I mean how could you lose them in this bag but you know you know what I'm saying you don't want to lose them or you want to make sure that they're still in your bag when you pick it up <laughs> you can just sit it right there and that's a nice comfortable place for you to sit it okay um, now I am gonna pull out these little pull tabs right here just to attach the leather interwoven chain strap so you just attach them to the pull tabs here like this and it goes on perfectly okay so you can wear it as I'll insert a picture so you can wear it as a long strap here that kind of looks more like a crossbody of course it is a crossbody um, and then you can also wear it as a shorter bag and I'm gonna actually show you how to do that so you just open the flap up like this you're gonna twist the oh, maybe I can show you like this you're gonna twist the um, handle around the flap okay the inside should have one line of the handle now make sure you keep the pull tabs up close the top of the flap do the turn lock so it stays closed and then you will have yourself a smaller handbag but it's not just a handbag it's a shoulder bag now smaller version of the shoulder bag but you also have that front strap kind of hanging and to me this this rings a little bit more luxury a little bit i don't know it kind of gives like a chanel like boy bag type of feel to me because you can do these different functionalities with the straps to kind of make it just a little bit more of a um, shorter handbag or a shorter shoulder bag or a shorter crossbody you know if you're that short um <laughs> but yeah so it just rings a little bit more elegant and a little bit more um classy to me so, I mean, you can wear it either way and it'll still be classy, but this is another way that you can really implement that classiness, okay? So you can do it like this, or you can also just pull, pull this, the one that was hanging, the shorter one here, pull it gently, or you know what? Just undo the flap like this and it'll be a little bit easier. So you wanna kinda just pull it gently so both of the straps can be even, a even length. Do the turn lock again. And now you have an even shorter shoulder bag here. So you can wear it, you can wear this bag like four different ways. So that was three ways that I just showed you you can wear it. One as a regular crossbody, two as a longer um, shoulder bag with the, with the handle kind of hanging in the front. And then three, just like this. And it'll go up to you nice and, you know, um, nice and short and it'll be good for you now the fourth option is to just wear it as a clutch where you will remove the the um, handles here and you will wear it as a clutch so that that works as well um, and then I'm not sure if I showed you guys this but the inside of this pocket back here does have the lining of oxblood so it's leather on the inside and leather on the outside all 100% leather guys and it is on the back of this as well 
Um, the only thing that's not leather is inside the Kiss Luck that does have a fabric lining, okay? So, but this is a substantial uh, pocket as well. So yeah, so this is the bag. Gorgeous bag, it's like one of my favorite bags. When I first seen this bag, I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, I say that with every one of my bags, don't I? Like, when I, when I first seen this bag, I was like, yes, this is my bag. Like, I have to have this bag, right? But to be honest, like when I first seen this, I was like, how can I make this work? You know, like uh, it, it is a pricey bag. Okay, that's what I will say right now. But I, I think of investment and I think of substantiality as far as how long it will last. And I think of the quality material that it was made with. So I know that this bag will not go bad anytime soon. It will... Um, get old and kind of get that you know how like the Louis Vuitton bags like the um, leather can kind of patina this one patinas but it doesn't get darker it kind of gets shinier so um, and coach also has a service where every three months for free you can bring your bag in and they can clean it for you so that's kind of what I'll be definitely taking advantage of as well to kind of keep this bag a little bit more substantial this is a quality bag but I can say that it does scratch a little bit I do have a couple of scratches on here um, but again that's what the aging of the leather and things like that kind of like the shipment and the warehouse and the process all that stuff sometimes they're not as careful <laughs> with the bag so sometimes they will come a little bit you know scratched up dinged up that's why you have to kind of investigate your bag before you get it okay make sure you investigate 100 percent um so you can know like what you're getting into of course um but this is a really good looking bag when i first got this bag i was like wow it's a really really good looking bag i have done a couple of see i almost dropped it i have done a couple of scratches to the bag a little nicks a couple of nicks to the bag and i kind of just like squeeze it and stretch it out a little massage it a little <laughs> A little bit like I don't know like I don't know how to how to work this bag but you know you kind of want to be like extra careful with it um, not extra careful because I mean it's not like my chalk Parker over here that can like um, transfer colors and things like that but you know have fun with the bag but just make sure you take care of it as well okay let's talk prices okay and I know you guys are wondering like how much is a bag like that First off, let me say, this is how you would take care of the bag. All 1941 Coach Collection bags come with the fabric dust bag instead of the satin dust bag. The ones that are not 1941 come with the satin dust bag. I mean, the difference, I don't really know. If you know the difference, comment below. But <laughs> I do like the quality of this, um, the fabric bags. It's just, it's just a nice touch. So it does say coach on there and it does say 1941. So you can kind of remember which bags is 1941 because the satin um, the satin dust bag does not say 1941 on it. So this is how I store my bag when I'm not using it. I would just put it in there and drawstring it up and that's, that's pretty much it, you know? Just make sure that your bag is protected, okay? Protected from the sun, protected from UV lights, protected from dryness that may go on in your house and things like that. You just kinda wanna keep everything protected, okay? Now, in terms of prices, so this was the original tag that it came with. So this is a 1941 tag. I, I tend to keep the tags, I don't know why, but it does say the um, item number and the color code and just everything like that it does say that on the tag so I mean and it's a really nice cardstock tag you know one that you can't bend and things like that so it's a really nice tag anyway <laughs> I mean you don't have to keep your tags but <laughs> I keep my tags just it's just a memory to me you know as, as well as the bag but the, the tag is a nice memory as well also so I can be spot on with this video and tell you how much the, the bag was but basically it says the um, item number up at the top left and it says the um, the color and the color code um, and then it also says the type of bag. So this is the quilted rivet dinky. So quilted leather, it has the rivets on the front, it's the dinky, it's the black B4 color, okay? Now, the um, retail price of this bag was $4.95. Okay, so um, it was with tax. I mean, where I got it, it was like a 10% tax. So, you know, it'll run you. Um, but this is a really, really good quality bag. I think 
that um, it's definitely more affordable. Coach is way more affordable than like Louis Vuitton, Prada, like Gucci, like, you know, it's an affordable luxury company, but it has like a substantial leather and substantial products that you can't like find, you know what I mean? So for example, Louis is like amazing. I love Louis but like they use a lot of the coated canvases and a small portion of their bag will be leather. You know what I mean? So um, this, the, a coach does have some bags that are coated canvases, of course, and then like the straps will have leathers, things like that. But I do like their 100% like all the way around leather bags because it is very substantial and they do age nicely and things like that. Coated canvas does as well. Um, but it tends to be a little shinier the older that it gets as well as the leather bags but i think the leather bags do um substantially hold a longer amount of time so yes so that's that let me just talk about the care card a little bit when you get a coach bag you, sh you should also get a care card in there and um an important thing about the care card is it does come with your certificate of authenticity so you kind of just sign that when you when you get the care um, when you get the care card and I put my style number on there and the date that I got it. I got it the 12th of December in 2018. So um, it just says, this certificate of authenticity grants your coach product against any manufacturing defects. So what coach does is within a year, you get free service on hardware, on you know anything that goes wrong with the bag, you'll get a free service on that. So make sure that you keep this card. If they wanna know like when you when you got the bag, of course, they can pull up your transaction history and it'll tell them like when you got the bag. But this is a good thing to bring to along if you come, you if you go to a coach store, you know, you say, oh, I got it on this date. Like I didn't just write this, like I got it. <laughs> so that's what um, comes in it. This is another little booklet that comes in it. And honestly, what is this? It tells you like the hang tag it tells you oh it tells you the history um, coach was founded 1941 leather craftsmanship okay oh ready to wear bags accessories okay cool so it has it in like Japanese and English French Spanish a lot of languages in here kind of telling the history of coach so it says heritage reimagined from the original American house of original American house of leather yes and then it has your care card of course like the smallest of what that pack comes in um, and it tells you how to care for the bag of course so it goes in really 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 deep detail on how you should care for the care for the bag and that all comes in this little pouch for you so you you know I, I wouldn't keep this in my bag Cause it takes up room with such a small dinky like I wouldn't keep it in the bag but I would keep it you know in your um, dresser or in your nightstand or something like that to kind of refer back to when you want to so yes y'all that is the bag I am so excited about this coach dinky you guys don't even understand like oh, it's just like a gorgeous bag and it's so pretty like um it's a gorgeous bag and it's so pretty like what <laughs> it's gorgeous and it's so substantial and i think that it really will go a long way um when i sport this bag i do get some compliments on it but i haven't sported too too much just because like it's winter outside it's dry it sometimes it's like really really harsh like winds and things like that and then also sometimes it is like slushy wind and slushy um uh, slushy wind slushy snow like, I'm not trying to be carrying no, like, bag like this outside like that. So, I haven't really explored this bag too, too much as of yet. But I'm looking forward to it. I have wore it, like, maybe two or three times um, thus far. And it's just been a hit ever since. So, yes, you guys. We have come to a close of this video. And I am so excited excited that you tuned in i hope i was very informative and i hope i answered all your questions that you may have or that you may have thought of when in the market for a coach dinky bag and if you guys have any more questions or anything like that make sure you put it in the comment section below and i will be sure to answer that also make sure you like comment and subscribe like this video if you already have a coach dinky and tell me like kind of what it looks like and insert a picture if you can um i would be so interested to know like coach coach has been around for a while of course um but they've come up with like the best bags so 
I want to see what yours looks like. Also tell me if you can remember what year you got it and kind of how it compares and contrasts. I, I would love to know that. So thank you guys for checking out another episode with Vogue a la mode. Also, you thought it was over. I forgot. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications okay so you can know when we post a new episode and you can be informed all right thanks for tuning in to another episode and i will see you on the next one